Hello, human-shaped friends. Hopefully the audio is easier to hear this time around. Um, but yeah, we have another watercolor mushroom this time. Uh, its common name is wrinkly peach. I guess that has logic to who ever named it that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It does look kind of wrinkly. And it is a sort of, you know, peachy color. And if that's all it takes to commonly name something, then I'm sticking with my chaos goblin is a black void because his fur is black, as is the vast majority of my clothing. So if I haven't done laundry, I cannot find him in the void. I dare say it has the exact same amount of logic. I mean, really. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, watercolors, watercolors, watercolors. Uh, I've said it before, watercolors are the kind of medium that you have to turn into their chaos. And I meant it. I know that my little watercolor paintings, they, they don't really look chaotic. And that is because of who I am and how I interact with the world. But that is chaos to me. Pigments don't stay where I put them. And I have the hardest time with bold, vibrant colors. At least in watercolors. <laughs> Heck, if I'm being honest, in all colors. I like dialing them down in their saturation. I like making things earthier. And I think it was an art teacher of mine who said that what you make is what you're saying but your colors that's your voice well i have a very distinct color palette <laughs> and i have had to grow to love it i didn't always love it i don't know who starts off loving their work everyone begins at a place of awkward, kind of janky, not quite right. It's only through practice, dedication, investigation, exploration, curiosity, all those things that make an artist an artist that you develop that voice and you learn what you want to say. With my mushrooms, I'm not trying to say anything. Nothing strong, nothing powerful, nothing meaningful. <laughs> Honestly, all I'm trying to do is remember the love of art. Sometimes it's, it's hard. I don't know why. Uh, and maybe I'm alone in that. But sometimes I lose that love. And when that happens... Doing something just to do it can be wonderful. I love art. It is a part of my soul. But there are some days when the thought of making something new is just too overwhelming. Couldn't tell you why. Might be a depression thing or an anxiety thing or an autism thing. Or, 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 anyway. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want longer form videos. Uh, I make all of these into time lapses using a free video editing program that I can barely understand how to use. So <laughs> if you want the full video and just like an almost hour long rant from me, I will do that. But... I don't know, sometimes short form can be nice. Knowing that you're not alone in the randomness of your own mind, because my mind can be impossibly organized and erratically chaotic. Depends on the day. And yesterday I'm feeling a bit more organized. Might have something to do with the fact that I finally cleaned off my uh, teeny tiny, bought it from Ikea, not sponsored, uh, <laughs> work table. 
you know, finally put things in an almost proper place so I can start up a new project. Because I'm always starting a new project. I haven't even finished all my projects and I'm starting a new project. I hope you like my wrinkly peach. Sadly, not a dirty term. <laughs> I think it's lovely and simple. Until we talk again, well, until I talk again, <laughs> have whatever day will bring you joy and try to do one thing to help clear your own chaos.